Hey everybody, we're here today with Dick Workman, a local icon in Southwest Florida, somebody very special to me personally, good friend, wonderful human being, and certainly a great friend to native plants. Dick, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure indeed. Dick, I want you to just start telling us about some things that are on your mind, whether it's 350.org, uh, laws that are happening, physical things happening. What do you want the people out there in America, and especially Florida, to know about what's going on? Wow. Uh, there's, I, I wrote some 30 years ago in Growing Native uh, that there is an order to the way the earth is put together and operates and that it's time tested over billions of years and that it operates with the ultimate efficiency and we have as uh, on, on the planet have manipulated the way the natural system operates to, for our own purposes, generally special interest purposes, uh, so that we've disrupted things to a point that it's that uh, we're running into problems. Uh, one of the one of the, the former uh, poet laureates said uh, that, that uh, quoting the the, the Latin. Uh, carpe diem for seize the day is it's, it's we're, we're running out of days I mean we've got to we've, we've got to get off our rear ends and get in action and and and, and we don't have to wait for anybody for government we don't have to wait for anybody we can do it now, uh, if you drive through any community, you'll see uh, acres and acres of energy-intensively maintained uh, grasses, lawn grasses, that are not native. They don't serve any of the wildlife. Um, Dick, you were talking about those acres and acres, millions of acres of turf grasses and how energy intensive they are. Um, do you think the paradigm of what constitutes a normal yard or a normal backyard is changing? I mean, are we on, getting on board the right track at all? Well, it, it has to change. Uh, there's no question about it. We can't, we can't afford to import uh, fossil fuel energy to uh, to, to fund a, a senseless practice of maintaining a, a vacant landscape that, that, that doesn't contribute to the natural system function. And it's the natural system function that, that keeps us alive. We don't have to understand it. We don't, it's, it's, it can be very, very complex. Uh, we don't have to know how everything works. We, the, the, the key is just to model Mother Nature and okay. go to a, if, you, if you're planning a landscape or want to get rid of all of the, the energy intensive uh, grasses uh, in your yard and you want to create something like a tropical hardwood hammock or a uh, oak hammock or pine flatwood, which you don't want to put too close to your house. <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but it, but it, 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 you can easily uh, you go out and look at what's there. What are the what are the dominant trees? The the canopy trees that provide the shade, and what trees are associated with it. Uh, we call those plant communities because they are literally uh, communities where uh, different individuals of different species live together and they all uh, they, they help one another as we do in the human community and I don't want to get too anthropomorphic but uh, but, but it's sometimes useful in understanding that that uh, this 
of what the biologists call symbiosis, uh, where one plant helps to benefit another, or a different organisms help uh, to benefit others as well. Uh, that's very, very important in, in a community. And uh, I'm often, I, I, I was amused that when we were talking about limiting fertilizers, at, at how people were saying, uh, <laughs> we can't, you know, we, we can't possibly uh, grow our landscape and have it look right if, if we don't use fertilizers. We have to have them. Well, again, go look at Mother Nature's examples of un, totally unmaintained areas mm -hmm. and they are beautiful, functional, all year round with zero help from people. Bingo. I think that's something that I've been trying to drive home to people for years as you have, Dick, is that um, if you go to your state parks, your local preserves, these are areas where you can see how Mother Nature works without anybody maintaining anything and they look better than most home landscapes. But I do want to ask you a, a question that, that I, because I talk to my plants and I know they answer me. I believe all living things have energy, not just humans, and they all matter and they're all important. Do plants talk? Uh, not that I've heard. But do they, they communicate? Do communicate. Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> yes, uh, they and they, they. There's actually and and it's not necessary to understand this, but you just facilitate it. You there's a uh, plants get their nutrition from the organic matter on the surface, and that's why it drives me crazy when I see people raking up the leaves and. <laughs> And, and removing the food for their landscape. Uh, and it's, it's, of course, all cellulose-based material, as all plants are cellulose-based. And so they can't, they, it, it doesn't break down. It requires that microorganisms to break it down. And one of the microorganisms, the most important, is the, the fungi, and there are, you know, all the maybe one percent of the fungi are beneficial. There have been a lot of studies in, on the west coast of the country uh, that show that <clears throat> the uh, fungi that, that break down the organics on the surface and the fungi are, are uh, not cellulose-based, they're chitin-based, so they can produce chemicals that break down the cellulose. and then. Uh, all of the, the ingredients that the trees need to make sugar or food uh, is, is fed to the, to the trees, to the plants, uh, via a, uh, a network of filaments of, uh, that the fungi uh, produce. And so they not only we we have found through through research that they do communicate. So they if if for example a tree uh, gets a bunch of, of invasive pests and it needs uh, more energy to to fight off that that invasion, then the, the through the fungal network they will send more food to that tree. Uh, and if that, and and the wow. and they don't, and the the fungi don't do that for nothing. They get in exchange, they get uh, sugar, food, from the, the that's produced by the tree through the photosynthetic process. So, it's a it's a they definitely do communicate. And I don't know, I don't understand fully their language. It's pretty much a electrochemical kind of a language, but, uh, and, and, and they can't exist unless the, 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 the trees and the shrubs that they feed on are, are need for their existence are there. So it's uh, allowing nature to, to, to function in, in the home landscape is easy. 
it's it's it takes a lot of learning. Okay. Uh, expending mental energy, which is uh, something some people are reluctant to do, but it can be done. <laughs> Shape up, everybody. <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it, and and we can we can have a better a better place to live. And it and if everybody does it, then we'll we're well on the way to resolving any uh, problems created by climate change. Thanks everyone for being with us today for this fantastic interview with Dick Workman. He's not only an icon here in Southwest Florida, he is a treasure, a human treasure. We love him very much uh, and he's a great uh, advocate for native plants and for doing the right thing not only here in Florida but really for the country and the world and uh, we're just glad to have Dick with us. I just want to remind all of our viewers to please take some time, go to our blog, www.back10feet.com. Also, if you'd like to email us to tell us how we're doing, please do so. You can contact us at back10feet at gmail.com. Hopefully, they'll all be positive reviews, <laughs> not too many negative. Uh, let us know if you'd like to see more programming like this being made available to people. We really need to make more of that happen. Thanks so much for being with us. And don't forget to go to all the wonderful websites and read all the wonderful books that we're recommending. And again, everybody, we can make a change. We can do it in our own backyards, starting with the back 10 feet. Thanks so much for being with us.